yesterday who dares wins tonight i've come a long way for only one thing that's victory very 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 skilled over 70 fights 10 ko's on the record really excited to have him here tonight very fast spin there from Juche, just missed the target. If it lands, it can be an absolute shot stopper and it ends the fight. It's very interesting to note that Juche has martial arts experience in a variety of styles. Kickboxing, Sanda, Wushu. And it's showing here, especially when you, when you think of Wushu, you think of balance, and that's what this young man has, you can see already. And I like the way he's initially just got that shape away, and then he's 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 got that shape away, and he's showing the spin there, wanted to see what McDermott would do, sometimes that's a good strategy. Give your opponent some signals, give him some tells, see if he buys it. One, two there. The question is when he does that, you don't know if he's going to kick or if he's going to try to step in and box you. He smiles again. McDermott's a very different approach. He's kind of standing flat-footed, ready to trade. Whereas you kind of see the movement-based striking approach of Zhu Xie. So a contrast in styles already. McDermott very measured at the moment. Looking at him, what he's found out is the man is very fast, very mobile, and very dangerous. And I think Duncan McDermott will start now to come forward. He said no, nothing like this. He jumps into the clinch after the, the knee there, Juche. He's a real live wire, Chris. And when you're in a matchup like this, you have to be very switched on as a fighter. So in the case of Juche, he's throwing a lot of flamboyant techniques, which are awesome, can score, and of course can be fight ending. But when you throw those wild techniques, which can be low percentage, you're susceptible to being countered by a guy who's really fast. Oh, that's hell. This is very strong. 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 Well, for Juche, that was two superb punches, and the left landed okay. clean on the chin. Okay. 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 He's getting okay. through with the boxing okay. Juche. Okay. 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 What a tense round. Well, they both put their hands up. Uh, I mean, you know, Juche, Juche, very mobile, very fast, flamboyant well, technique. Like said. Said. Duncan McDermott, more what we're used to seeing, more measured and controlled. But I feel across the round, it was that flamboyance of Juche that took that opener for me. Yeah, I mean, Malcolm, would you define that as being the aggressor and the controller? That's one of my questions. I, I do. I think, I mean, Duncan, as you can see here, a lot of the time was waiting for Juche to initiate, to respond. You shake your head, you say it didn't hurt. But all this, the shots we're seeing here are Juche initiating, coming forward, asking the questions. Duncan's not hurt, he's right, but he's also not scoring in line. That was a lovely spinning back kick there. I love the way he really turned into it in a straight line, thrown technically very correct. Sometimes you see guys swing for that and it kind of goes looping, it doesn't actually go straight. The thing about that kick is it's actually a straight kick. And that's a knockout shot if it lands cleanly, but McDermott ate that and didn't flinch. Well, I'd like to see him start. To 
slow. Juche down with some nice kicks to either the lead leg inside or outside. And that would seem to be what the Norse Sleep crew have said he needs to try to focus on. Oh, going with that right round kick, but Juche trying to tie up with the right cross. He jumps to the neutral corner, waiting for the count. Doesn't get it. And a big smile and they touch gloves, but here, this is what Duncan McDermott needs to do. I'd chop at that inside by stop the mobility. Nice knees from Duncan McDermott. Stimmy back kick again. Turning side kick is nasty. Lands. Super clean. If you drop you get the count all the stoppage. And Juche is a real life player. Fans in and out of motion. Good footwork. That's what I think. The footwork of Juche. And then he's going to be able to do some things. And then he's going to be able to do some things. McDermott just did the switch up there. He was looking for that kick. But Juche with the beautiful cross check. Very technical stuff that we're seeing here. I mean, this is just such a beautifully balanced fight between two guys with very different thought processes about fighting. That was better from McDermott across the bows with the low kick as Juche bounces in. And each time he bounces in, this is better. This is what McDermott needs to do when he bounces in like that. Hold on. Throw the leg shots. I'm not interested about shaking the head saying it doesn't hurt me. Get back in there. Working as McDermott's got to set those kicks up. He's got to back Juche into the corner. Or at least back him up in a straight line, get him to cover, get him to break stance and kick him. Juche flowing freely with those punches, but McDermott in this round has kicked more and started to work those legs more. Juche remains so busy and so mobile. And with a big smile on his face, he's really enjoying this moment. I mean, we think about the opportunity for the English fighters, but look at the Chinese fighters as well, the trip, the journey, how long it takes to fight in a different continent. It must be just an exciting for And he's showing the Juche is typically leading these exchanges, but Dermot's trying to pull him for a counter. Nice one, too. That right cross landed. Dermot shakes his head no, but that was a solid right cross. This is better for McDermott, though, because he's willing to engage the moment Juche comes forward and looks at those low kicks in as well. As he responds, and he's saying to Juche, come forward. Now, he, look, look, this is better for McDermott. Coming in, and then go down, go down, go down, chop at his legs back. Okay, that's it. That's what you made to see earlier. Well, both fighters are known for energetic performances. Ten seconds to go here, and we've seen just that for two hard rounds. Two in the books, Malcolm. Three of a scheduled three coming right up, but a lot to talk about there. That was full fat action. Again. Juche,start的时候，他的步伐很明显，对手往前压的这个节奏啊，更加紧凑啊。那么朱旭在每一次进攻完之后，对手的这个低扫踢的反击，不是啊，被反击。But from about the halfway point, we saw McDermott change tactics, and I feel successfully. Let's take a look at some of these exchanges here. That was the right cross. Definitely landed. I mean, Dermot was shaking his head there, but that's not going to be enough to win the fight. But that will be enough to win the fight when he chops those legs like that. That was working for him, as you alluded to there in the second round. We need more of that in the third, Malk. That's it. From about the halfway point of the second, Dermot Dermot started to do a lot more of that, and it was slow. Your mobile opponent down. It was slowly stopping doing all the alley shuffles and the movement and the legs. But for me, Duncan needs to start the third house, end of the second, straight away. The moment Juche comes in to engage, he chops away at that base again. Third and final oh, round here. Both fighters touch gloves, a mutual show of respect. Oh, Duncan yeah. McDermott again oh, right yeah, back yeah. to those low kicks, Malcolm. This is what we need. He knows what Juche is going to come in. Fast boxing, good hands. He's dangerous, so he has to stay alert. But as he comes forward, respond and then put the kicks on the end. Better from McDermott. That's it. I do Less agile than we saw in the first couple frames. 
this was the key for me for McDermott to slow him down. Now, as you said, that one did get to him. And McDermott needs to keep forcing that now when he comes up with those hands. As you said, great the space and the time for the kick. 接后手迎击挑帅，这么一连贯的动作，呃，还是散打技术相当强。Touch gloves, both guys are having fun out there. It's made for an entertaining scrap, to say the least. The game to shape traditional boxing. They're coming in left and right, and McDermott needs to wait, stay in the pocket when he comes in, and then chop at the leg as he comes forward. There you go. Oh, I was just about to say the inside of the leg. He may have been looking to chop across both legs. That's a legit way of going about things, but not quite making the mark there. Chris Batchelder making the assessments. All good. Touch of gloves. The action resumes. Dermot coming forward and again that left leg on the end of each combination much better from the blue corner. Juche sticking with that movement, slipping out the way and then coming back with the heavy hands, the right and left hooks. Martial arts match. You go in, you have your kind of presuppositions about what you think you're going to do, what your opponent might do, and sometimes you've got to think about and chunk information throughout rounds. That's one of the things we've seen from both guys. From McDermott, it's been that low kick. Yes, he's a change, he's adapted. Kick catching a dump. Touch of gloves. Not much time left here, Malcolm. No intriguing contest again. I like the way McDermott's adapted, but I've been impressed. Tanganamei,吃了主动进攻啊,继续准备抢到他的前面。六营经济打断他的整个的发力的布局。转身后当,当然有点偏了。Kind of Check hook there from McDermott. Juche says, let's go. We go the distance tonight here at your call in the Super Fight Series, England versus China. Both men raise their hands, and I said before, rightly so. But again, Chris, beautiful knee coming in from Juche. And as we've seen with the Chinese, although they favor the boxing, they've got the legs, they use the legs, but they use them sparingly. I've noticed when I'm looking at the Chinese team, they love the boxing style and then bring the, the legs in sparingly. McDermott here, he's happy to stay now at the boxing range to get the kick in on the end, but there's the jumping knee again. The Chinese have got ah! those tricks in the box. We haven't seen them frequently. And I think that will probably be enough to edge it on the scorecards. McDermott made a lot of good changes in that fight, but I feel like Juche was able to rack up just a few more points, should be able to edge it, but hey, we've been wrong before tonight. Yes, we're only human. There's three very experienced judges at ringside who will make that official decision. Yes, Juche takes the decision. McDermott adapted and was adapting well.